My name is Professor Dutch and I'm a biochemist and physiologist. Um, I'm working for more than 30 years in the field of experimental animal-free cell culture models which want to predict effects on the complete organism uh, but without using experimental animals. Um, I'm the chief of a private scientific company and uh, we are working in a variety of fields containing pharmaceutical industry or food supplement industry but also tobacco industry for looking on toxicological features. According to the provider, the key shield is able to protect against all kinds of radiation. We conducted a study in which we tried to see if, key, if the key shield is able to protect against an, the radiation of an active mobile phone. Um, we used as a test assay the uh, cell regeneration process or wound healing process um, of the cells uh, which we used in our cell culture systems. We used cultured connective tissue fibroblasts for a simulation of the wound healing process. The cells uh, were um, exposed to the radiation of an active mobile phone for two hours. One assay together with the key shield and the other assay without the key shield. Afterwards, the cells were incubated for another 22 hours in the cell culture incubated, were then fixed, stained, and the space of the remaining wound edge was measured. In addition to the quantification of the results of the fixed cells, we also used the time-lapse video system to demonstrate the dynamic process of wound healing with mobile phone radiation and key shield and without the protection of key shield. The present study has shown that the cell regeneration process is largely delayed by the active mobile phone radiation. To our surprise, when using the key shield to have a protection during this exposure process, uh, we could show that the, um, the wound healing process is nearly the same as for an unexposed control. For us, this means that the key shield is able to protect against the mobile phone radiation. And from this point of view, we can highly recommend this system.